How do you say Kaboklo in Chinese? How do you say Bruno's last name? Kabotolo. Is that Bruno's last name? Yes. Kabot Kabotolo. We are back, y'all. Feels good to be back in SAC. We've been here a lot. It is a Monday. Where does this court rank? Oh, number one. Number one. Better than the black one? Uh, I, like I like the black I one. I like the black one too, but I like this one a yeah, little bit. Yeah, this one, bit yeah. Better. I think the shoot on, mm -hmm. photography wise, this is clean. Yeah, yeah. It does bring out the photography. Yes, no sir. All right, guys. About to get some B roll. Mm -hmm. Bruno Cabo Cabo Laco Laco is checking into the game. Minnesota Balls. I think we better learn how to pronounce his name. Yeah. I'm still working on pronouncing his name. You just call him the. Bruno Freak. Yeah. Oh, wait a box out, Bruno. I see you, boy. I see you, boy. Look at that wings, that wingspan. Like an eight-foot wingspan right there. All right, all right, all right. He wants the ball. He wants the ball. All right, he's taking another. He want, oh, he got it. He got it. Ah, uh, that's all right. That was a good look. All right. Oh, oh. The, the Bruno Arms. Stole the ball. All right, Bruno, I see you. I see you, Bruno. Go, go, Gadget Arms. Kablock Low. Yeah, he excited. Bruno Cabo. Cabo St. Lucas. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, all right. Where's he at? Where are you at? I lost him. Where'd he go? There he is. All right, ready to box out again. Tyus Jones. Jones get pockets though. Oh, Bruno. All right, he said Bruno, get it the other side. Bruno said, let me post this guy. Alright. Go, go, gadget arms. Back at it. He's ready to shoot it. He's ready to shoot it. Rogers letting his teammate on that end one. Kudos to Frank Mason. I'm glad Frank is back, by the way. I missed him, bro. Since December, he hasn't played. That's crazy. That boy's a stud. He went at Steven Adams. This is OKC a couple games ago. Hey, that boy, buddy. Swaggy, though. Back to Kabogolo. Back to Kabogolo. I'm watching him. Did he help? Kabokolo. He's probably nervous. He's like, oh man, so many fans here. We all want to see what he's about. Now we get to see. He got long arms. That's good defensively. Look at that guy, that's pretty funny. Back to Cabocolo. Whoever's watching this, please tell me how to pronounce his name. 3.28 a.m. Cabotolo. How do you say Bruno's last name? Caboclo. Bruno Caboclo. All right, all right, people. I'm pretty confident that's how you do it. All right, all right. That's what, so, that's what he said. Y'all let me know if Sean is correct or incorrect. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> hey, Tony, did you know that they called uh, Bruno the Brazilian Durant back when he was like a rookie? Oh, man. They did? Pretty high expectations, huh? Yeah, it's pretty high, but uh, still kind of far off. But Oh, yeah. I mean, he's. I think I think physically he's like him. Yeah. Long, yeah, quick. 
Look, he's ready to dunk it. Man, to me, it looked like he could he Turn play it. some defense. Oh, right yeah. Sure. He want the ball back. Buddy, find him. All right, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, check this out. The vlog knows I've been dissecting oh. Bruno for like oh, the past God. eight minutes. Give His your, hands are. Give me your thoughts. Let's say right here. You got the mic. Bruno's hands are long. Bruno Freak. No. Yeah, Bruno Freak. That's it. That's all I have. That's all you got. You got I, that's all I got. Out of all of playing time, bro. His, his, his hands are so long, I'm, I'm mesmerized by them. How about IQ? You see him rolling, boxing out guys, setting the screen. I rolling. thought IQ to me is when you have an eight foot wingspan and you jump into a guy, all you gotta do is stand straight up and you'll be fine. But your IQ is not very high. But. To be fair, he's new, he's nervous, all that matters, I get it. But at the same time, like I tell many fans, he's a power forward, he's a stretch forward, he's not a three. He's not mobile enough to play the three. So, that's what it is. So he isn't Brazilian Durant like I was telling the vlog? No. That, no. <laughs> he's got the moves! <laughs> It was good to see him out there, and um, you know, it's a good opportunity to, to uh, you know, good experience for him. It's hard, it, you know. He's still trying to learn a lot of stuff, so we tried to give him one at the other. It wasn't really a fair uh, deal of me, but you know, it just was where where we are in, in playing a lot of the young guys and giving them opportunities. How did you feel out there? Um, I felt good. Um was my first time playing with the team. Uh, I just got here, so uh, I needed to learn some plays. And the plays I didn't know, so so my teammates was was helping me in, uh, in the game. So that's why uh, sometimes I look a little confused. But I, but I felt good and, and hoping to, to do a better progress in the next game. Were you a little bit nervous going into the game? No, I wasn't nervous. Uh, I was just trying to focus on the plays because for, for me now it's the biggest um, the biggest problem, but uh, uh, out of there I feel good. Now he, uh, they put you in that first as a power forward, but then later on the second half I think they put you out to three. What did you feel more comfortable when? What do you think is the better position for yourself? Um, before uh, I felt better playing as a three, but uh, this last year I played more as a four, so I feel more comfortable now playing as a four. Yeah, because uh, yeah, like I didn't play against like the bigger guys. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm a stretch four, so it's kind of take like easy shots in the on the on the corners or on the top of the key. So uh, I like to play as a four. Sacramento Bee's finest, Hector, Hector, Hector. Look, look at all that equipment, man. That's legit. that's about a hundred thousand dollars right there. About, yeah, it's about that much. <laughs> Keep saying that so they can rob me when I get out of the game. <laughs> KHTK's finest. Right there, man. Oh, God. What you think? Bruno. Thoughts on Bruno? Well, <laughs> to be uh, honest. Best time is any to get opportunity, but... Would you rather have Jakar Sampson? Absolutely. Thank oh, you. no, it's Thank not. You. In a heartbeat, it's yeah. not even close. No, Jakar Sampson actually affects things on the floor. And I'm not saying Bruno can't do that. And it's his first time but, with a new team. So you need but to we know what Jakar. We know what Jakar can do. And we've already seen Jakar be effective. And Bruno is Bruno. He's, he's young. So, no, Jakar. I think Jakar absolutely deserves consistent minutes. Um, I had no problem with the Kings not playing Zach Randolph tonight. As much as I like Zebo, it's nice to see an offensive flow, try and figure out 48 minutes of basketball without having him as a constant bailout. And it's just another uh, another piece of the puzzle, I guess. It's, it's one of those games that's really hard to, tough th uh, to sit through, but I'm able to get through games like this because we had back-to-back -back really, really good games against the Lakers and Oklahoma City here in this building. So I latch onto those more than I try and brood on these, but nights like this are sometimes tough to watch and sit through. What's up guys? This is the outro, not the intro of 
the vlog. So after all the assessment, after Matt George, and after all my tweets, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I got into it with the dude from STR. I'm not gonna give him enough credit to give his name out. Uh, but you guys probably know who he is. I spoke to Coach after the game. I was the one I was asking him the question. It was good to see him out there, and uh, you know, it's a good opportunity to, to uh, you know, good experience for him. I, I spoke to Bruno after the game, and when I asked Bruno where he felt most comfortable, it was. This last year I played more as a four, so I feel more comfortable now playing as a four. Just like I said during my tweets during the live game, it just feels like he Bro, is he that shoots, guy. He shoots like Ray Allen, come on. <laughs> yeah, Jay, he shoots He's a 30, shooter, bro. He shoots shooter, 33 percent shoot. in the uh, G League. No, <laughs> but shooter, no, baby. but it, but in all seriousness, man, I think he's a really good kid. He was very nice to us. Uh, I just don't think that he should be playing over a guy like Jakar Sampson. Like, I genuinely think Jakar should be playing the minutes that he played today. Uh, he didn't, but uh, yeah, the 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 lights are going out. Anyway, so we so we have to wrap this up. I'd rather see Jakar Sampson play. I I, I really do. And I'd rather Scal play the four a lot more and play him, you know, 35 plus minutes. I believe he played that today, if I'm not mistaken. And he played very well offensively. Obviously, defensively, he's not strong enough to guard other guys. But hopefully that changes. Hopefully he puts on some weight during the summer. And he fixes those little things because we see Scal's potential offensively. It's so good. And he's also a good rim protector. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Uh, you want to see, see Jakar play. I do, over, over Bruno. You don't think Bruno should have a, a chance? No. What do you guys think? No. Comment down, should Bruno it's... still have a chance and get, get some playing time, or should Jakar just straight up get those PT because you know what you're going to get out of him? Let us know. Let Neil know if he's right or wrong. I just feel like Jakar Samson has shown enough to affect the game for the Kings. When the Kings are getting blown now, he comes in, he brings energy. He makes such a big difference for this team. And I believe every team needs a guy like him. And I just don't see Bruno as that guy. And if you're not that guy, he should not be playing over a guy like Jakar Samson. Not that he doesn't deserve it, but that he needs to earn his time and beat out Jakar Samson. But the fact that the, the, fact that the Kings have him on a two-way contract, you know... That's, that's a, a, a huge reason why. So I believe Zikar should be playing. I want to know what you think right before we end this. I think Bruno should be getting an opportunity to play. Over Zikar? Yes, he should. He should. Why? He's raw talent. He's, he's just as raw just because as he's long and as every other rookie on this team. Just because he's long? Because he's young. All right, guys. Every other rookie is getting playing time, but you don't, you're not raving about starting Zikar over Justin Jackson. No, but Zikar's a power forward, though. And so is Bruno. I mean, he kind of... He did play both positions. But he, but he, he, is, yeah. he is more of a four. Correct. You correct. guys know my take. Y'all know his take. Who do you think is right? Let us know. And also, guys, if you guys haven't heard about the movement, we're trying to get this channel up to 50,000 subscribers. Please subscribe, man. Share the word. We're doing more NBA vlogs, more daily NBA news on this channel. Yeah, we got to give Hope a shout you out to guys, the Serbian fans. Absolutely, man. And also to all the Serbian fans out there, to all the Fenerbahce fans out there, thank you guys so much for watching the videos all the time. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. We'll be doing some cool stuff with uh, Bogdanovic later this week. Mr. So. Milo Novik. Shout out to you, man. That, believe in, that, no, believe it, was, in, it was Igor. Igor, yeah. Mr. His last name is Milanovic. All right. There it is, guys. Thank you so much, man, for, for the advice. And, yeah, we'll try to cater a lot more to the Serbian community, to the Turkish community, to all the European fans. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank Bye, you guys. guys so much, and we'll see you on the next one.